Hi everyone, Letty here. Today I'm going to share with you my Echo Park Clubby P January 2023 kit. This is going to be using Homemade by Cardabella. It's going to be a full kit smash video. So welcome back everyone. I am using up this January Echo Park Clubby P kit. Um, it is featuring the Homemade Collection by Cardabella. Um, it is a bi-monthly subscription, so I get it every other month and it's $29.99. Um, and so they always include an inspiration sheet. And then here's what came in the kit that month. So homemade, this is the six by six paper pad, 24 sheets, double-sided paper. Um, and so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna show you everything that came in the kit. And then I am gonna take you step-by-step step as far as my thought process on how I prep my kit, cut down my paper. I have a tutorial that's gonna be also in this video. And then at the very end, I'll do a full recap of everything that I made using this one kit. So that is the six by six paper pad, again, homemade by Cardabella. I love these little six by six paper pads. And then it also came with enamel dots. So here's what that looks like. And then I also uh, received an ephemera pack. And so here is a little close up of the ephemera that came in the pack this kit in this kit this month. So then you have the chipboard accents. And so here's what they look like. So these are like dimensional, they're on cardboard. Um, they do not have adhesive backing, but you could easily glue them to your projects. So a whole six by 12 of those. Then it did come with a stamp set this month. That's a little hard to see. So I'm gonna put it on some white backing. Here is the stamp set that it came with. Now this stamp set, whenever they come with a stamp set, they're exclusive to the kit. You can't find them anywhere else. It comes with 12 by 12 sheets. You get 12 of the 12 by 12 sheets, some of which are cut aparts. Here's a flip through of what it looks like. Here's a miscellaneous cut apart sheet. Look at that cute dog. You've got just a ton of different sizes of cut aparts on that one. Sunflowers on the back, really pretty. Then some really fun home kind of, you know, uh, pictures and then more florals, squigglies, some cut aparts. These are three by four cut aparts. And the back of this looks like this, which is gorgeous. But I really like those three by four cut aparts. You've got some chickens with roosters. It's just a really fun mix of patterns. You've got some florals, some sort of, um, you know, cooking or kitchen type things. And then you also have some farm animals or more farm related. So this is like homemade on the farm. You've got some bees here and then this gorgeous watercolor like gingham. Really pretty. And then again, some more kitchen items. So again, you get 12, 12 by 12 sheets, some of which are cut apart. I think like four sheets are cut apart, something like that. You've got some four by sixes. Um, and these are all 12 by 12. These are the luscious Cardabella paper, which are super, super thick. You definitely need to try the Cardabella paper. Here's a sticker sheet. You also get a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So this is what that came in the kit um, that from this collection. I love these stickers. These are so cute. So again, that is the January 2023 Echo Park Club EP box. That's what I'm starting with. Let's get through the process. So the first thing that I do is I prep my kit. So I usually will cut out all of my sheets from my six by six paper pad um, and I cut off the top, which is, has all the glue. I leave the little hole on there at the top, the little the hang tag hole. Um, and I like to try to pair up my sheets together. So I'm just prepping my paper so that way it's ready for my projects. And then I also cut up my cut aparts. So I identify which sheets of cut aparts that I want to cut up. These are some two by twos that came in the six by six pad. I definitely wanna use up these little two by twos. So I'm gonna cut these down in just a second. And then these were some three by threes that I also really liked. And I like that over the, the pattern that was on the back. So I'm definitely gonna cut down these as well. Again, these are just some three by threes. And then these two, I really like these two three by fours I really like the sunflower paper so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compromise I'm gonna just cut down the cut aparts and then I'm gonna leave the top portion as a whole so I could use it for that sunflower paper so I'm just taking out the sheets that I really wanted to cut down from my paper pad so I did have two extra sheets that I was kind of on the fence on um, so these were some more cut aparts and the best thing that I can recommend is just don't cut them if you're not really sure how you want to use them don't cut them up yet because once you cut them you can't uncut it right so just say it you can always cut it up later if you change your mind or you decide you really need those i'm going to just put those aside now for the 12 by 12 sheets i definitely want to cut up these three by four cut apart so i've got those ready to go and then i'm also going to want to cut up this miscellaneous sheet i got a ton of really fun things in there and then I have these four by fours. I'm not a huge fan of that back page, so I'm definitely gonna cut those up. Now for the four by sixes, I was on the fence. I wasn't really sure if I was gonna use them as four by sixes or use this gorgeous sunflower. So you'll see that I'm gonna just put this aside along with the rest of the paper. And then I'm just gonna focus on cutting up the sheets of cut aparts that I know I really want to cut up. 
So, and then of course we have the stamp set. One other thing I can recommend as far as prepping is stamp a few of the images out. If you see a sentiment or some images that you think you'll use in your projects, stamp them out, doesn't hurt. You can always just put them aside and save them for later if you don't end up using them. So step number one is definitely prep that kit. So now what I've done is I've already cut up all the cut parts that I just showed you. I did take it one step further though, and I did add some glossy accents to some of my images on the cut parts. I do have an Amazon link down below. In case you're interested, you can check out the specs. If you want to purchase it, you absolutely can. I thank you for any of those purchases using my links. So I just added them. You'll see here, like in the sunflowers, I added a couple little drops into the inside of the sunflowers, just a little extra dimension for these cut parts. You see they're all the centers of those flowers, um, the strawberries, I think you can see them a lot better here. There you go. You see that that gloss that comes from glossy accents. You just it's almost like a little paint. You add on the paint wherever you want it to shine. You put it aside. You let it dry and it just really enhances your images. So I've got all my cut aparts ready to go there. I do have these branding strips. Now these are the strips that are at the bottom of my 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Normally they have like the brand and the name of the collection and sometimes some some uh, scanning or barcodes. I cut those off because they have that pattern paper that I'm going to try to use. Now the second extra part of the branding strip just has the, the name of the collection. I save these. Sometimes I can use that word. Otherwise, I just use it to like layer between items just to keep things like level. I did also stamp out some of the images. So I really like that little today was the best sentiment. I'm going to put it inside that little that little rectangle. I've also stamped out some flowers, stamped out some little houses. I don't use a ton of the stamped images you'll see in my projects, but it always helps to prep. So project number one is going to be some five by seven envelope albums. So I have done a previous tutorial on this. I'm going to link it at the very end of the video. So you just keep watching to the very end. You'll see how to make one of these. Um, and so what I'm doing is I have some five by seven envelopes. I'm going to cut my paper down to five by seven. I'm going to make two of them today. So, and then what I'll do is I'm also going to bring in this ribbon, which I actually don't end up using the ribbon. I just want to show you that you absolutely can. I found one that was close enough to one of the, either the patterns or the colors, and you can always add a ribbon closure to this. You just have to glue it to the front and the back of your covers before you start layering up your paper. Now I don't end up, end up using it for my final project. You'll see why in just a bit. My paper size will be five by seven since this is a five by seven envelope. So the envelopes are just a slightly bigger than five by seven. So I have my sheets of paper, my 12 by 12s, and I also end up deciding I am going to go ahead and cut up this six, four by six sheet of paper because I'm going to use it to decorate and to add into the inside of my album. I am going to show you how to cut one of these sheets on camera right now though. So in case you do make this, you'll know how to cut this paper to get maximized number of mats from your paper. So what we're going to do is turn it to the right. So if it's directional, turn it to the right. Your top will be to the right hand side. We're going to cut it at seven inches on the 12 inch side. So we're going to cut it at seven inches, just like this. You'll have a five and a seven inch piece. And then we're going to take that seven inch piece and we're going to cut it down once more to five inches. So we got a five by seven mat. So this will go perfectly on the front cover or any of the pages and leave just a one eighth border all the way around. I'm going to take that last little bit of scrap and I'm going to cut it once more. So you basically can get two of the mats that are five by seven from that first seven inch strip and have one little scrap. Then you see this other scrap is five inches by 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the opposite side, which is non-directional, and I'm going to use that as part of my mat. So I'm going to just trim this down to five inches and you don't really have to do this. I just kind of made it a little bit more even cut it down at seven inches on that 12 inch side. So you'll have a five by seven inch mat. So you get three of those five by sevens from the one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, along with two little scraps. I'm, I'm just laying it out how you're cutting that paper down. So you see you've got three mats. You know, you do have these two scraps. One is a five by five square, which you could easily cut down to make little pockets since the width of the paper is five inches. That's perfect. So again, don't throw those scraps away. You can cut your paper down, make some pockets. You can also use this little strip to make either a belly band right in the middle of your page, or you could put it on the edge and make a side pockets, which is what I'll be doing. So I'm gonna cut all the remaining sheets off camera, including this sheet of four by six cut aparts. Okay, so I have all of my mats ready to go. I do end up with 10 mats that are five by seven for this little album because I used five envelopes. So you'll have a cover, a back, and then eight sort of pages on the inside, which needs 10 total. I've got two sets there. I do have these little scrap strips that I'm gonna end up using to make little side pockets, just like you see here. I'm just basically gonna put them on the sides of some of the pages and I can use them to add any little cut aparts or anything that I wanna add into the pockets. So I've got these, I'm just gonna divide them as evenly as I can between these two albums. 
So, so let me just set this all aside. I've got my bases, all of my papers, and then I am going to be adding in those four by six cut aparts because I'm going to end up using all of these for this project. So I'll put that aside. Now, what I have left is this little scrap. Now you could technically use it for a little small pocket or like a double pocket, you know, um, but I'm just going to put it aside for my, to put it in my scraps and I'll use it later. So I do have these five by five scraps of paper left over and I have this little five and three quarters by five and three quarters, a ca square card set that I got from Hobby Lobby. The envelopes are slightly larger. So I'm going to make some five and three quarters by five and three quarters inch square cards with this. I think the pack comes with 12. I only have eight, so I'm gonna make eight cards. So I'll do both off camera. Here's what remains. I still have most of that six by six paper pad. I still have one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, which I'm gonna show you a tutorial in just a second on this one. And then I have all the other items that I'll use to decorate, as well as a tutorial for that last sheet and some projects with that pad. Okay, so I have made both of the albums and all of my square cards off camera. I'll do a full recap at the end. Here's what remains. I have a ton of these little bitty two by two cut aparts. I only have a few of the larger cut aparts or medium sized cut aparts. That's what's left. I do have these three scraps that I had left over. I have my branding strips here, and then I have some ephemera pieces, some three chipboard pieces and some enamel dots. So that's what I have. I also have some of this six by six paper pad, which I'll show you in just a bit what I'll do with that. My stamped images and then one sheet of 12 by 12 paper which I'm going to show you a tutorial on right now and then a few stickers that are left after decorating all of those projects that I just did so that's what I have left we're going to do a project now with this one sheet of 12 by 12 paper so I'm going to make four by six pocket journals and we will do a little tutorial so you're going to need eight sheets of eight and a half by 11 inch copy paper and one sheet of 12 by 12 paper you could do a little a few extra sheets of copy paper if you wanted I previously showed in my travel video my travel smash video where I made these two little journals um, and I wanted to show you how to make it so this is the tutorial on how to make this you will need your long arm stapler for this one and again you'll get two two four by six journals from the one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, which is super fun. So let's go ahead and cut this 12 by 12. We're basically gonna cut it in half. If your pattern is directional, you're gonna wanna turn your top of your sheet to the right and then cut it six inches down the side. So we've got two pieces that are six inches by 12 inches now, just like this. And then what we'll do is we will cut our pattern, our copy paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at the eight and a half inch side. You can either cut one and a half inches off or you can cut it at seven inches, either way, just so you, you're left with a seven by 11 uh, stack of paper. And you can do multi multiples at a time, depending on what your paper trimmer will allow. Then just cut it at in half at five and a half inches on the 11 inch side. So you'll be left with five and a half by seven inch paper. These are little stacks of eight inch sheets or eight sheets in each set which is what I had taken out from my original project. Now, we're gonna go ahead and score our, our actual scrapbook paper. So we're gonna score it at two inches, at six inches, and at 10 inches on the 12 inch side, just like that. So you've got three score marks, two, six, and 10 on the 12 inch side. And then I'm gonna just repeat on my second a little album here or my little journal so this is optional but i'm going to use the we are memory keepers envelope punch board just to make my little pocket notches you don't even have to add notches but i'm going to do it at three inches you could use a circle punch if you wanted to again i'm going to just use this notch it at three inch mark on both sides which is going to make my two pockets so just on the two edges of your six by twelve sheet right outside of those score marks. So you got your two pockets and your three score marks. I'm gonna fold and kind of varnish with the bone folder all of my score marks, just like this, just to kind of make it real nice and crisp and flat. So here's what the foundation is gonna look like before I sort of finish it off. So, and then I'm gonna just repeat on my second one. So I've already notched out my two pockets. I'm gonna fold and varnish with my bone folder, make it as flat as I can. That's what that will look like. So just like this, you can see the foundation sort of coming together. So I'm just gonna put these two aside. Now for your stacks of paper, I have eight sheets each. I'm just gonna fold them in half on the seven inch side and then enforce with my bone folder just to make it really super flat. I find that the bone folder just really, really helps make it flat in this instance. So I'm gonna put all this aside. And I'm going to bring out my long arm stapler. I do have an Amazon link down below in case you've never seen one of these. It's a pretty affordable one. I'm going to set my setting to four inches. So four inches, which, is, which will be the width of this little journal. And then I'm going to add glue to just the pockets, just on the two bottom edges of the pocket, the inside scores. And I'm going to hold it down and then repeat on the other side, add just a little strip of wet glue and wet glue is going to be the best for this because it will dry as opposed to double-sided tape that stays wet. 
So I'm gonna add my little uh, set of papers right on the inside and I'm gonna line those folds right on the center and then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it over and with the cover facing up, I'm gonna staple three staples on the spine just like this and then I will go ahead and use my bone folder to fold and really enforce that spine just to make this as flat as possible. So our four by six pocket journal is now ready for me to decorate. I'm gonna repeat the process on the, the second one. I'm gonna add some of these stickers, add some cut aparts and I'll show you the final product. So I did do two four by six pocket journals. I'm gonna save those for my recap, but here's what remains. So I do have some, a few stickers left from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I do have just a couple of, uh, cut apart some scrap strips, ephemera, chipboards, enamel dots, few stickers there. So my two final projects are gonna be cards. I've got some mini slimline cards that I wanna make that are using the April 2022 sheet load of cards. This is by Call Me Crafty Owl. I will link her channel down below. She only asks that you be a subscriber and you can get this sheet load. I took out five sheets of paper, of six by six paper, because I had nine of these little card bases already ready to go in my stash. And then I do have these little two by two cut aparts and I was inspired to take out this One Sheet Wonder by Jess Crafts. Now this one is for six by eight paper. I'll link her channel down below as well um, and her website. Now this one's for six by eight paper, but I'm just gonna use my little two by twos to put them as my two by two elements on this instead of cutting it out of the paper. And then I'm gonna cut down my two by fours from my six by sh six sheets of paper. I have 13 sheets left, which is the last of my pad. So again, I'm gonna use one by Jess Crafts, a sheet low or one, uh, one sheet wonder, and I'm gonna make all of my cards off camera, decorate everything, and do a full recap up next. So again, this is the January 2023 Echo Park Club EP kit. This is a bi-monthly kit featuring homemade by Cardabella this month. Here are my empties, a full 12 by 12 sheet of stickers, the six by six pad, chipboard accents, the enamel dots, the ephemera pack, I have my stamp set that'll go back in my stash, a few images that I'll leave. And then these are my scrap strips. These are just the branding strips. I'll keep them for a bit in case I can use them, but otherwise I can, will consider this trash. So now it's time for the full project recap. I have two five by seven envelope albums. This one's more of like a kitchen theme. On this one you see it's very flat, which is why I just did not end up using the ribbon. It just ended up being pretty flat enough that I thought it would, it would be fine without it. Here's what the inside looks like. I did add those little pockets using those scrap strips that I had left over. The beauty of this size this is a five by seven envelope. So the beauty of this is you can use four by six cut aparts. You can use four by four cut aparts or three by four cut aparts to add into this, this uh, album and they fit perfectly. So that was my very first one. And then on the second one that I did, this one's more kind of family themed and so I do have again some pockets I have some little journaling areas some tuck spots and a ton of little cut aparts in all different sizes that I've added into this album as well so both of these will be gifts which is one of my crafty goals uh, for this year is to make handmade gifts and have them already set aside so I already have some gift ideas in mind for these two two five by seven envelope albums with the scraps that remained i made the five and three quarters by five and three quarters square cards i made eight of them total because that's how many squares i had left over um and you see here i did add a little bit of cardstock matting under them just to kind of really expand the cover of these cards or the mat of the card i just added anything that i had i added some of the chipboard pieces the ephemera the stickers i made some a little plainer like this one and then some just with a ton of things like that one um i just think these were so super fun and these are going to be really fun look at all the enamel dots that i added to that one so eight five and three quarter square cards that i also made and then the two four by six pocket journals that you saw the tutorial for i've already decorated them i did add some stickers i added some cut aparts on the inside and then i decorated the front covers as well so these were so quick and easy to make they do use up your stash I think these are a great little project to mass produce. And so that's what the cover will ended up looking like. I added the scrap strip and then a cut apart. And then I, the only difference on this one was those little stickers that I added because otherwise they were pretty much the same. So two four by six pocket journals. Then I took out the April, 2022 sheet load of cards and I ended up making nine mini slimline cards using that, that sheet load. So here's what they look like. And again, I just used what I had to finish decorating them. I think they turned out super fun. The colors in this kit were just so bright and cheery. I was definitely ready to jump into some bright and fun colors. 
So these were just so super fun to make. And this is one of my favorite sketches. So nine mini uh, slimline cards. Then I took out the Jess Crafts One Sheet Wonder. This one's a six by eight sketch. I made 17 five by seven cards. Again, I started with those two by two cut aparts and that was kind of the inspiration for this. You see there, I did add some of the stamped images just as a little added extra. I think I might even come in and add like a, a big word that says hello on some of these just to really anchor them in the middle. Um, but I, otherwise, I think they turned out really cute and I think these will be fun to send out to family and friends. So just a really, really fun, big five by seven cards here. If you have never made five by sevens, you just have more real estate on that front of the card. So ton of fun, 17 five by seven cards there. Then with the scraps, I made four A2 size cards. You can see here, I really just extended my little scraps here because I used the little bits and pieces that I had. I did add some fun things on the inside of the cards. These were some of the leftover cut aparts and scraps that I had left over. And I had one last little strip. And so I added some stickers to this one to finish those off. So four A2 size cards. Then with all of my scraps, I made 13 three by three cards. I had two of those chipboard pieces left over at this point. So I added one to each of the fronts, added some enamel dots, and then just called it a day with those. And then on these last ones, these were some little two by twos that I had matted that were ready already done. So I just added the little stamp sentiment. I can always come back and add some additional stickers if I want from another collection but otherwise I'm just gonna call these done as well. These are just some three by three cut aparts. Here were the scrap strip cards that I made. So these are little scraps that I had left over. I added a little sentiment on the top and I think they turned out super cute. These are super fun and I do like using the last of my scraps just to make these last little cards as well. So again, 55 total items, 51 cards, two albums, two journals using the January Echo Park Club EP box, which featured homemade by Cardabella from a hashtag crafty goals 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for visiting everyone. I hope you subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram. Here are a couple videos I think you might enjoy and happy crafting.